Hi everybody, it's Jason here. In this video today, we're gonna work on using the TI-84 to solve for the vertex and the roots or zeros of a quadratic equation. So I've got a, a quadratic equation right here for us already. And I've got my TI-84. And uh, this is a skill that is um, really can save you a lot of time, especially if you're taking like the ACT or SAT and need to do this sort of thing pretty fast. Of course, you can do it with factoring or quadratic formula also, but this is just uh, a focus on using the calculator. So I've got mine turned on here, and I'm going to first graph my function by pushing y equals right here. And then where it says y1, I'm just going to type in uh, x is right here, x squared, and then minus 4x, and then minus 12. Um, as a side note, when you think about minus and negative on a calculator, they're different. And this is really confusing. See, there's a minus sign and there's a negative sign. See how they look different? This will cause you to have an error message if you don't use the correct one. I think it's super dumb. Um, they should be the same sign, but they're, they're not. So be careful there. Anyway, we type this in. I'm going to push graph. So there's my parabola. Uh, unfortunately, I missed some of it on the bottom, so I need to adjust my window so I can see the entire parabola. Uh, this is the standard window. If you go to Zoom, if your calculator is not in the standard window, you go down to Zoom Standard, oops, hit Enter, and you get that. This is 10 by 10 in every direction. Um, so to change this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window right here. Um, so we want y to go below minus 10. So maybe we go down to like minus 20 and then still up to 10. The x can stay the same, minus 10 to 10. I don't really mind that being the window. I hit graph and uh, <clears throat> there's my graph. My tick marks are kind of a little bit too busy there. Kind of, it's hard to see. Um, so I want to adjust that as well. Go back to window. Uh, we will make the y scale maybe count by fives. So y scale right now it's one. This is just how often you want to tick mark. So we'll do by count by fives. And this will look a little bit easier. And if you don't like the ones, I guess you could also make the x's count by ones it, it, or by fives. It doesn't make a difference. But anyway, there's, there's my graph. <clears throat> I'm ready to find my zeros and find my vertex. We'll start with the zeros. Uh, right above trace it says calc and blue. So you push second calc and go down to option two, which is find a zero, hit enter. And we'll start with this one over here. Uh, it says, what's a point on the left? So use your arrow keys. That looks good, hit enter. And then right bound, that looks good, hit enter. And what the calculator is gonna do, see those little arrows? It's going to search for a zero or a root or x-intercept between those two arrows. Then it says guess where you think it is, so it's going to tell the calculator where to start looking. So that looks close enough, doesn't matter. And so my first root is negative two. Now I'm going to say root or zero. Those mean the same things. x equals negative two. Let's do this one. Second calc again, find the zero. Go down here like this. Pick a point on the left, that looks pretty good to me. Enter, pick a point on the right, oops, enter. And we have those two little arrows again, it's gonna search in and then we'll guess. So that looks good. And six, so X is negative two and six, or you could say negative two, zero, Six zero. It's not my good pen, but you get the drift. Negative two zero. Six zero. So those are my two zeros. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's find the vertex now. The vertex is this point right down at the bottom. Because this is opening up, the vertex is going to be a minimum. If it were opening down, you would look for a maximum. So again, go to calc, second calc, go down and ask for a minimum. Uh, and then we go. Uh, left of the minimum, use my arrow key, that looks good. Oops, I'm, I pushed up and tried again. Second calc, uh, find a minimum. There's a left bound point, that looks good. And then right bound. 
There we go. And then guess. And so my vertex is 2 comma negative 16. Now, once you look at this x, this does not explicitly say 2. It's 1.9999. It's very, very close to 2. And the reason for this is the calculator uses a, um, an iterative algorithm uh, that gets you to the, uh, the, the, the minimum. And sometimes it's just slightly, slightly, slightly off. And the calculator is not smart enough to know that that's just two. So whenever you see something that has a super, super close number to a whole number, or um, then just know that, that that really means two negative 16. So anyway, hope this helps you out. And uh, I'll uh, post some more videos soon, and especially maybe related to quadratics. That's a topic that is uh, going on in Algebra 2 right now. Uh, um, so... Uh, anyway, you guys have a good day. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.